Hey everyone, Kaylee here with three quick braided hairstyles for you guys. I think this is great because we have the new year coming up and you want to have fantastic hair in the new year. These come together really quickly and easily and work for so many different occasions. So to start off, I'm going to tell you how I prepped my hair. I actually went with second day hair because I kind of wanted to show you guys that you could use this on a second day hair to turn second day hair into awesome hair, but you could also do this on just about any hair texture and your hair doesn't have to look pretty when you start out to make the hairstyle pretty. So we're gonna start out with this half updo, and this one is great for looking amazing on a casual day. You're gonna start off with braid number one, which starts about three inches back from your hairline, a little bit more if you have really short layers around your face. Then you're gonna braid all the way down your hair and secure it with an elastic once you reach the end. Then if you want to add more of a bohemian, voluminous look to your braid, you can pull it apart just a little bit, and then you're ready to move on to the next step. And now we're actually going to put our hair half up. So you're gonna start out with the hair that's in front of the braid on one side, and that is gonna go back. You're also gonna make a similar section on the other side of your head with the hair that is right next to your hairline. Both of those sections are gonna go back, and you're gonna secure them with a clear elastic to create this half up hairstyle. Now we're gonna finish off with one more braid. To do that, you're actually gonna pick up hair around the little elastic that we just secured so that you have enough hair for the braid. Then you're just gonna braid all the way down that section, securing it with a clear elastic once you reach the end. To hide the clear elastic at the top, I just loosened my hair up a little bit, and then I kind of pushed the elastic into the braid so that it hid itself nicely. You can also use a bobby pin to hold it there if it doesn't seem to want to stay in place inside the braid. And then of course I loosened the braid up just a little bit more for some extra volume, and then I'm finished off by adding a couple more little curls to my hair. Because this was second day hair, and I wanted to just kind of zhuzh it up a little bit. But you don't have to do that step, you can totally skip that, just go with however you want your hair to look for this. And once you've got all that done, the hairstyle is complete. And like I said, this is a great casual hairstyle, because it can make your hair look great in just 5 minutes and will stay in place all day long. And now onto our braided ponytail, which I love to death. You're gonna start out with just taking a section of hair from the top of your head and kind of securing that out of the way. We're gonna use this to cover the top of the Dutch braid later. Then we're going to create our braid. So to do that, you're just going to take the hair from right next to your hairline in a nice little section, and then you're going to begin Dutch braiding. And that's basically doing a French braid, but taking the strands under instead of over, which I really like because it makes the braid look 3D instead of kind of like a zipper. I feel like a French braid looks like a zipper. Does anybody else agree with me on that? Anyway, um, so then you're just gonna braid about four inches doing your Dutch braid. Once you've got that done, you're just gonna braid the rest of the hair normally, but don't secure it with an elastic quite yet because the next thing we're going to do is pull the braid apart for more volume. This time I'm actually pulling on each individual little piece of the braid and you can see that's giving it kind of more of a bubbly, really voluminous look and I really like it for that. So once you've gotten that done with all of the normal braid, you can add an elastic and then go and pull apart the Dutch braid just like you see me doing it here, pulling on either side. Then you are done with the braid and it's time for the ponytail. I'm just letting down the section from up top and letting that drape over just like it would in a ponytail so that you can't even see the hair that's going into the Dutch braid. Then you're also going to pull the rest of your hair back and into a ponytail and finally add the braid into that ponytail as well. Then secure it all together with an elastic or two for a really great hold. And finally, we're going to wrap some hair around the elastic. I like taking a really small piece of hair and wrapping it around until all the hair has been wrapped. Then just pinning the end of it against my head with a bobby pin, making sure that the bobby pin goes between my head and the elastic. So I'm also finishing this one off by adding a couple of little curls. Again, you don't have to do this, but I kind of like to. I also added in a little bit of texture spray just to make it more beachy and lived in looking. Once that was done, the hairstyle is complete. I love how versatile this hairstyle is. I can see it being great for like a girl's night out or even prom, so definitely try this one out. And finally, we're finishing off with this braided updo, which I love and comes together way easier than you think. First of all, we have to make the braid. You're gonna start about three to four inches back from your hairline, and then if you want to leave any bangs out, you can if you have side bangs or normal bangs, go ahead and leave them out of this situation. And then you're gonna go ahead and braid all the hair from that section that's like, you know, three to four inches back from your hairline. Then you wanna make this super voluminous, so pull on each little part of the braid to make sure that it has max volume. I do have a video on how to do this, so if you need any more tips, check that video out, and then secure it with an elastic. Now we're gonna tie back the hair from the front. So you're gonna section your hair in front of your ears on both sides, and then pull that back to like a low ponytail height in the back of your head. You can also leave out some longer pieces from the front if you want in this process. 
So I'm pulling these pieces back and then I'm going to just use a normal hair elastic to hold them in place. Now we're going to create what I call the headband loop, which you guys probably already know how to do. We're gonna use this half up portion like the back of a headband. So you can kind of loosen it up a little bit if you need to, then take all your hair together and you're just going to wrap your hair around the half up portion of this hairstyle. And it works just like a headband. So if you've ever wrapped your hair around a headband, it's literally the same thing. Just wrap it over and over and over again until you have all the hair wrapped. And you can do that once, twice, three times, however many times you need to. Now if you take a look at it, you can see that on the left we have this portion where I wrapped the hair first and it looks nice and pretty. And then on the right we have this portion that's wrapped over and over again and it's not as pretty. So what we're going to do is slide the hair together so that the pretty hair goes over the wrapped hair. So basically you just hold the pretty side with your left hand and tuck the right side underneath it. And it actually works really well, it all just slides into place. So just hold the pretty side with one hand and tuck the not as pretty side underneath until it's completely hidden. And then once you have it nicely tucked underneath, you're just going to use bobby pins to hold everything in place. And that's it for this hairstyle. I love how romantic and sweet this one is. Definitely great for homecoming or prom or any kind of wedding occasion you might have. Or, you know,